All right, Tour de France route got announced today. I'm not going to do a video on that at this moment in time because I can't seem to find the information that I want, which is the route stages of every, the, sorry, the stage profiles of every single stage. Alas, we don't have them. We've got some of them. But I also saw this that Christian Prudhomme has uh, Christian Prudhomme, sorry, has called for the ban on power meters at the Tour de France. It's just dumb. Like I just don't really understand the man. He makes absolutely zero sense. Like basically, he's saying we want exciting races, and he's like power meters are making boring races. It's like, come on, like. It's, it's just not true though because the thing is with the power meter like if you have the power meter don't have the power meter it's a way of riding just like riding tempo like these professional riders know exactly how hard they can hurt themselves the power meter obviously helps for sure but like most races i mean maybe the tour on the long climbs maybe but most races like people aren't staring at the power meters because you're in the bunch or whatever and if you're on the front like it doesn't make a difference really like you know what power you can hold or what like you what sort of effort you can do so I just don't get it like you're gonna ban them and literally nothing's gonna happen the thing that's changed is because of power meters people understand that pacing on the climb is way better so you can just hold 300 watts the whole way up the climb that's it instead of doing 400 for first bit and just blowing up so it's just not gonna change anything I don't understand why he's thinking of banning them if anything it should be completely like I mean they should just need to change the race's style instead of the eight power meters because people aren't suddenly gonna get rid of power meters and suddenly attack or like 2k to go and then just blow up massively. Like, they'll still know, like, the sensations. I think the main reason that race is so boring in comparison to what they used to be is because you don't get these ridiculous talents anymore who can just go on crazy breakaways or just attack the whole time because the peloton is just way better because everyone knows how to train properly, eat properly, and just generally be better on the bike. So that's why the racing is more even, and that's why people can dominate it. And there's also the budget. Like, Team Sky can just afford to put loads of blows on the front and just ride. And they're like, yeah, you just ride at 400 watts. Like, yeah, but if they didn't have a power meter, They'd still know what speed to ride at. Like, they'd still know what, like, they could do for a climb. Like, if Dave B in the car's like, boys, Kwiatkowski, just go, like, full gas to the next climb. And he'll be like, all right, it's an hour climb. How long, how much, like, fatigue do I have now? Oh, I know how hard I can go for an hour. It's not like he's suddenly just going to, like, turn into an idiot who can't, like, feel his body. I mean, Greg Amman says here, like, he doesn't look at a power meter. Obviously, some of the, the uh, pro riders pretend they don't look at power meters because it's sort of seen as a bad thing, and some of them do. But at the same time, like for Greg Banama, like why would he look at power meters? When he's going full gas up the Quermont, he's not going to be looking down and being like, oh, I'm going at 550, I should only be going at 500. So just full gas and just hope for the best. And like, even then, once you're like breaking away, even Terpstra said it, like, you know, don't, if you look at the power meters, it's not the most useful thing because on those twisty roads, you want to sort of get out of sight. So sometimes you'll surge massively to get out of sight. And then psychologically, that's more important. So I don't really get it in the end of the day. I don't think that many people actually ride to power 100% in a race. And if they do, I don't think banning power meters would actually help that much because people would still know. Like, they'd still have the sensations of the power meter. Like, if I ride without a power meter, I can roughly tell what watts I'm going to do. And I'm not that experienced. Like, if you're a pro rider, you know exactly. Like, I mean, pro riders, if anything, need power meters less than amateurs because they just know their body so well. And they could just, like, if literally the coach was like, you need to do intervals at, like, 400 watts tomorrow. Like, they could probably do it at 400 watts with, like, almost perfectly without a power meter. That's why I don't think it's going to happen. Um if they ban them also they just won't ban them because the UCI has zero desire to do that and it's just such a distraction just make some exciting races don't have 200k flat stages which is the boring thing ever just have shorter stages when you need them long stages when on them maybe some of the mountain ones and also just encourage people to attack by putting bonus seconds on maybe the penultimate climb have bonus seconds then and people are actually going to attack you just got to be a bit more creative in the tour de france like the bonus second idea like it's actually such a good thing like in the breakaway in the giro it was always good because people want to try and get in there but it's also just like imagine if you had them on like the set penultimate climb then everyone would actually want to attack everyone wouldn't let the break go and then it would be far more exciting not banning power meters is going to do absolutely nothing so i don't know what this bloke's on about but anyway, he pretends he knows it has a clue, but I just don't think he does at all. And then obviously, David Lepartian is like, oh, he could ban Pam. He's like, this literally going to achieve nothing. Like, it's a waste of time, distraction, get some exciting races, and just actually let's, let's like, race properly and not just pretend that Pam is the reason why Team Sky win everything and Pam is the reason why racing isn't as interesting as it used to be. Anyway, cheers for watching. What are your thoughts on power meters? Do you, like, do you rate them? Do you have one? Do you race with them? Do you look at it when you race? Should they be banned? All questions I want to hear from you. So anyway, cheers for, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.